different companies value different things in terms of what they want by way of planning and predictability. Some companies have big PMOs, annual planning cycles, huge governance, financial controls, they're making commitments to Wall Street, right? They're doing all these things, right? If you are part of a PMO, chances are your organization values predictability. If they've invested in project management and governance and annual planning cycles and all those different things, your company values predictability. On the other extreme, you have companies that value adaptability. You have companies that value change. So what you have to get people to do is to recognize that they really do need to be able to make and meet commitments. And they kind of do need to be able to respond to change. But sometimes that gets us in an irrational situation. So what you have to realize is that the more I try to lock it down and become predictable, the harder I make it to change. The easier I make it to change, the more at risk I put my commitments. We want to create a narrative where we say, look, you're not bad, right? It's all good, right? Just realize these two things compete. Vertical axis, emergent versus com convergent. I think of emergent as like web. So like probably eBay, somebody who's here from eBay, Google, Facebook, right? The requirements in that kind of environment can emerge based on the needs of the market. On the other extreme, think something like, a well-defined RFP for government work, right? Or um, tax software or regulatory compliance. We're not trying to discover our market. We're trying to comply with a well-known set of regulations. And so I started thinking through kind of this dichotomy between the predictive conversion, trying to make and meet commitments against a known scope, versus the adaptive emergent, which is responding to change, adapting to a market we don't necessarily know exists. And in my head, I was kind of going traditional versus agile, right? And then I had an epiphany one Sunday morning and I was thinking through, well, if we have a two by two, does a predictive emergent quadrant exist? Does an adaptive convergent quadrant exist? Anybody ever work in a company that's trying to do 18 month planning cycles, governance, all those different things, but stuff feels like it's changing all the time? That's the reason why we want to go agile. So my first iteration of bringing this idea to market was I was talking about why agile fails. And I think the reason why agile fails in a lot of organizations is because we're living in a predictive emergent world. It feels predictive emergent. We're built for predictability, but things are subject to change. Well, so what we do is we go create, do a scrum pilot. We give it everything, everyone necessary. We give it backlog. We do all these things. And we do it in the adaptive emergent quadrant. No governance. We get you know, exceptions to every policy that we have to do, right? And we pilot scrum. Everything works. But then we take the practices of scrum and we put it back into the broken organization. And what do you think happens? Scrum doesn't work. So it works when you create the conditions for it but it fails when the conditions aren't present. So getting back to my theory of transformation, what your job is, isn't to figure out whether Agile will work for you or not. Your job is to transform the organization to be the kind of company that can do Agile. The one thing that I want you to kind of take from this from a transformation context is that depending upon the value system of your organization and the value system of the market that you are approaching, you have to tailor your methodology to the market and to the company.